Welcome guys. What do you think? When and why labor demand changes? Labor demand changes when one of the affecting factors changes. So overall, labor demand is a function of wages and non-wages factor. So when one of these factors, either wages or non-wages factor changes, so the labor demand will change. If we divide all the factors in two main categories, which determinant of labor demand and non wage determinant of labor demand. So when they change, labor demand will change. But the question is, why labor demand changes? Labor demand changes due to two different effects, a scale effect and substitution effect. So what is a scale effect? It is also called output effect. A scale effect or output effect means that the companies or firms try to change the overall level of output that they are producing. But the substitution effect it means that the company try to maintain at least the current level of output, but substitute their factors of production. So let's see, and as example, when the wage level changes, so the change in wage level will change the demand for labor due to two different effects, a scale effect and substitution effect. For example, let's say the wage level increase. When the wage level increase in case of a scale effect, the cost for producing output will increase. When the cost for producing output will increase, it leads to increase in price. When the price increase, so the customers will react or will respond to this increase in price in terms of decrease in demand for the final output. When the final output, demand for the final output increase, so the firm will react to reduction in demand by reducing the level of supply. Reducing the level of supply, it means the company try to reduce the overall output or the scale of their output. As a result, when the supply of output decrease, so the company or the firm now need less labor and also other factor of production. So the labor demand will decrease. The labor demand will decrease. In case of substitution effect, when the wage level increase, if the company or the firm want to maintain the current level of output, unless the change in rental price of capital is equal to zero, so now what the firm will do, the firm will try to substitute capital with labor. And instead of using more labor, the firm will try to use more capital and produce the same level of output. So then the demand for the labor will decrease. Overall, in case of change in wages, what will happen, we have substitution effect and, lab and scale effect. So both substitution effect and scale effect will move to the same direction. In this case, increase in wages will decrease the overall labor demand. And in both cases, scale effect and substitution effect, the labor demand will decrease. How we can show it graphically? We can show the change in labor demand along the labor demand curve. For example, if the initial wage is W1, when the W1 increased to W2 here, then the demand for labor would decrease from L1 to L2. And also, if the other case happened, when the wage level decreased from W1 to W3, then the demand for labor will increase from L1 to L3. In both cases, when the wage level decrease or increase, we will move along the labor demand curve. When the wage level decrease, we will move this way. When the wage level increase, we will move this way. And in both cases, scale effect, the substitution effect, we will have the same direction. When the wage level increase, in both cases, labor demand will decrease. When the wage level decrease, in both cases, 
the labor demand will increase. So we'll show along the labor demand curve. But what if none which determinant of or none which factors changes? For example, the demand for the final output, rental price of capital, or technology changes. When the demand for the final output changes, we will have a scale effect. Why? Because when, for example, the QD increase, so in this case, the firm will supply more. When the firm supply more, so the labor demand will increase. The labor demand will increase. As in this case, in this graph, we also have just, we have uh, labor and also we have wages. So how we can show this one graphically? So when the change in wages is equal to zero, there is no change, but all the, just only the labor demand increase because of increase in the overall demand for the final output. It means with the current level of wages, now we demand more labor. So overall, the labor demand curve will shift to the right. So now the labor demand will move from D1 to D2. With the current level of wages, we demand more labor. The labor demand will move from L1 to L2. So when the non-wage determinant of labor demand changes, the labor demand curve will shift either to the right or to the left. In this case, when the demand for the final output increase, so the labor demand curve will shift to the right from D1 to D2. So there's a shift in the labor demand due to a scale effect when the out demand for the output increase. So what if when there is a change and rental price of capital. In case of rental price of capital, we have both a scale effect and substitution effect. Because in a scale effect, when the rental price of capital, for example, RK, increased, when the RK increased, so the overall cost will increase. When the overall cost increased, so the price increase. When the price increased, the demand would decrease. So in this case, the company would supply less and labor demand then decrease. Labor demand will decrease. In this case, the labor demand will shift to the left. So now, instead of D1, we will have D3. That means with the same level of wages, now we have lower demand for the labor. So the labor demand curve will shift from the D1 to D3 in case of scale effect. But in case of substitution effect, when the rental price of capital increase, when the rental price of capital increase, unless the change in wage is equal to zero, so now, the firms are trying to use more labor instead of more capital. So the labor demand curve will shift to the right. So from D1 will move to D2 due to substitution effect. So now with the same level of wages, we demand more labor. So as you see here, in case of change in rental price of capital, we have two opposing effects. When the rental price of capital increase in case of like a scale effect, the demand for the labor decrease because now the company try to produce less output. But in case of substitution effect, the demand for the labor will increase because the company want to substitute labor with the capital now. But in case of changes in technology, only we have a scale effect unless there is, uh, unless the uh, technology will affect the same on the demand for labor, on the demand for capital. So what will happen here? When the technology increase, it means the overall productivity will change. For in case of a scale effect, when the technology increase, so now the cost of production 
will decrease because now with the better technology, the company can produce more output. So the cost of production will, incre will decrease. When the cost of production decrease, so the price will decrease. So now uh, the, the customers, they demand more output and the company can supply more. When the company supply more, in case of scale effect, so the labor demand will increase. So here, we can show this scale effect here again by shifting in the labor demand curve. For example, if initial labor demand is D1 by the scale effect due to the change in technology, we will move from uh, D1 to D2. So this change in the labor demand due to a change in the technology is because the scale effect. So let me clear that one thing, that in case of change in the demand for the final output, in case of change in the uh, technology, we will not have substitution effect until the change in wages equal to zero and, and so also the change in rental price of capital is equal to zero. When the change in rental price of capital is equal to zero and the change in rental price of, and the wages is equal to zero, in case of the demand for the final output and also change in the technology, we already have a scale effect. We will not have substitution effect. But when the change in rental price of capital is not equal to zero. In this case, we will have both substitution effect and a scale effect. I hope this video makes you clear that uh, when labor demand changes and why labor demand changes. Over the, overall, labor demand changes when one of the affecting factors, either wage factors or non-wage factors changes. And why the changes? Due to a scale effect and substitution effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, and thumbs up, share your comments. And if you have any specific questions about the uh, labor demand and overall about the labor economics, you can write down below your question. I will try to make a video on that specific questions and solve that specific question to share for the public and for the all people who may have the same problem with solving that question. Thank you for watching. See you next time.